talk to you guys today about the current situation in my life. I would like to be a, a professional land surveyor to get my license to do that. And under the state requirements now, I cannot do that unless I have a survey specific degree. I mean, state before we get into everything else, that I do have a degree in physics and a minor in chemistry. Uh, the main reason I'm in this class is because I never took a speech class. I took what was called a colloquium class. It doesn't meet the requirements of this school. I also never took college algebra or trigonometry. I took calculus one, two, three, and differential equations and algorithm analysis. But I don't have a piece of paper that says I took college algebra or that I took trigonometry on a transcript. And this college has required me to take both of those. Uh, so I do think education is necessary, absolutely. It enlightens us. It uh, helps us to interact so uh, socially, and it teaches us a lot of things that we need to know. But the way we go about some of it is completely wrong. Um, in my uh, per we can I can look at all this by taking my own personal experience into account. Uh, basically, by saying bills, uh, bills, and then some more bills. Uh, my wife is a resident surgeon in Integris Baptist. Uh, she's not uh, fully licensed yet because she's still in residency. Uh, and we also have owned our own construction and development business for the last 10 years. Um, we personally have paid between both of us out of our pocket because of not qualifying for financial aid or various other factors in excess of $500,000 between both of our educations. And the financial burden created by these requirements is needless to say just, you know, outstanding. Um, and not to mention the quality of education that both of us have received is not always unilateral. Professors aren't always uh, that way with presenting their respective material. And some of them are very biased in their viewpoints. I think uh, an English class that I took, that professor narrowed it down to about three topics we could talk about. None of them were actually hot button issues or anything that really needed to be discussed between people to further our interaction or our social ability. Um, the education requirements that are that I have to have only mitigate my career path and they only probably mitigate a lot of your career paths as well. Um, I have, with my degree and my experience in the field that I'm in, um, it's more than sufficient enough to allow me to sit for my exam to be licensed as a surveyor, uh, but I can't. And that takes money out of my pocket because I can't do certain things that I need to be able to do to complete that job. And it also takes money out of other people's pockets uh, and, it, and it stunts job growth because that's exactly what I would love to do. I would love to give some people some jobs, uh, more jobs than I have already. Uh, but I can't because I don't have that piece of paper that says I'm a surveyor and I don't have a piece of paper that says I have a degree in surveying. Um, you know, and it hurts our economy as a whole. Less money for me means less money for the economy. Less money for me means people don't get jobs. And, you know, it's very important to me to provide those things for my fellow co-workers and fellow Americans. Uh, so in conclusion, basically, any person in this room can probably share at some point uh, some of my uh, feelings towards education and the monetary cost of it. And hopefully, you know, through my experience in this situation, I can um, maybe correct some of these problems. Uh, I look to be on the state board at least at some point in my life and probably do away with some of this stuff. So thank you.